osmosis. Water also obeys the law of diffusion. The movement of water molecules through such a selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis. Thus, osmosis is the passage of water from a region of high water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane to a region of low water concentration. What will happen if we put an animal cell or a plant cell into a solution of sugar or salt in water? Hmm, something will obviously happen. One of these three things could happen. First, if the medium surrounding the cell has a higher water concentration than the cell, the cell will gain water by osmosis. Such a solution is known as a hypotonic solution. Water molecules will pass freely across the cell membrane. Thus, the cell swells up. Second possibility is that if the medium has exactly the same water concentration as the cell, there will be no net movement of water across the cell membrane. Such a solution is known as isotonic solution. Now it's not that water is not crossing here at all. In fact, water crosses the cell membrane in both directions. But the amount going in is the same as the amount going out. So there is no overall movement of water. The cell will stay the same size. There is a third possibility also. If the medium has a lower concentration of water than the cell, the cell will lose water by osmosis. Such a solution is known as a hypertonic solution. And this will lead to shrinking of the cell. Now let us try this out by the following activity.